Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be using Garden Variety Eyeshadow Palette by Colourpop. I already used this palette on my channel and I did a look using those purple shades in the middle. But there are another 12 shades that I wanted to do, so that's going to be our second video and there's probably going to be a third so today i wanted to focus on the warmer side of the palette right here with those beautiful six shades you have peachy corally tones and that's what we're going to be using let's get started and i'm going to start with prepping my eyes i am going to be using a toner for the eye primer, I'm going to be using MAC Painterly Pink Up. I'm going to set the primer with Wet and Wild Brulee using a white shader brush. Now that the eyes are all set, we're ready to go into the palette and for the crease color I'm going to be using this light peachy matte and the shade prickly please there is some powder kick up A light shade it took me a while to build up I swatched this on my hand so you could see it this is two swatches now I'm gonna go into this shade clay day right here I'm gonna go with a soft angle brush I'm gonna do a hand swatch of that shade so you could see there is a slight shimmer going through it I love the shade that I just used. I love how it blended out into the soft color, but I want to bring back some peach into it. So I'm going to go into the shade over the bloom, and that's that brighter peach. I'm going to go with a small blender. You could see compare to this brush that it's much smaller. And I'm going to Add some of the pop of orange into the crease. You could definitely see this pop of coral. I'll do the same on the other eye. gonna apply this color in the middle of my lid and I will take this onto my inner corner so this shade is don't leaf with an F at the end and this shade is wave length that's what they look like and I'm gonna swatch it I'm going to the shade Don't Leaf. I 
think that this is their super chef formula it's very soft i'm gonna take my mac fix plus to try with my finger I'm pretty sure there's super shock formula but with the finger it did build up which i'm happy about and now i'm gonna go into the wavelength shade i'm gonna put in an inner corner and i'm using a flat angled brush This shade is beautiful and pigmented. You could see it in the inner corners. I'm going to go with this shade here. It's called Root M Up. And I'm going to deepen my outer corner. Gonna go in with a clean fluffy brush, blend everything out. Also highlight the brow bone with a shade deserted. Also clean up around my eyes. I'm going to apply liquid liner and a mascara and I will be right back. For the eyeliner, I used Bourjois Ultra Black Slim Eyeliner. And for mascara, I use CoverGirl The Super Sizer with MAC in Extreme Dimension Lash. Now we're going to move on to the face and I'm going to apply toner. I'm going to apply a simple moisturizer. For the primer, I'm gonna use Lee's with the Base Miracle Blur to go. For foundation today, we're going to be using Rimmel Last and Finish 25-Hour Breathable Foundation, and I'm using the shade 100 Ivory. I'm going to use Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. For under my eyes, I'm going to be using NYX Dark Circle Concealer in the shade Light, and I use it as a corrector. For concealer, I'm going to be using Marcel Flawless Concealer in the shade Fear.
I'm gonna be setting under my eyes and my face with Marcel setting powder. I'm using e.l.f. blush brush. I'm gonna be applying MAC and Extreme Demand Lash Mascara on my lower lashes. For the brows, I'm gonna be using Sigma Brow Powder in the shade Medium and my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. I'm going to set my eyebrows with Milani Eyeshadow Tinted Fiber Gel. I'm going back into this bright coral shade over the blue and I'm gonna apply it under my lower lashes. This just intensifies the coral look a little bit. And I'm gonna go into the other eye. I'm gonna go into Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer to brighten under my eyes. For bronzer, I will be using Marcel Eye bronze in the shade 01 light for blush i'm gonna go into my color pop blushes that i keep in a tart compact and i'm gonna use the coral one this one is in the shade Rum cum. But it looks pretty opaque and there is a powder kick up, so I'm gonna dab it up on my hand. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. That you overdid with your blush you could always go back to your bronzer brush or any clean brush just to blend everything in or you could use a beauty blender or any sponge it's a beautiful beautiful color it's very similar to the color that we have in the crease i like how it goes together now for the highlighter i am going to use Wet and Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Precious Petals. This is a stunning highlighter. For lip liner, I'll be using Rimmel Natural Lip Liner. For lipstick, I'm going to be using Tarte Lip Sculptor in the shade Light. And you have lipstick on one end and a lip gloss on the other end.
finished look i love how the eye look turned out i love the combination with coral and gold and let's just talk about those shadows so this shade right here is beautiful very pigmented beautiful for the inner corner and you could use it for all over the lid this is a super shock shadow which took me a while to build but i guess this is how that formula works and the best way i find to apply it is to use the finger i love the shade it's like a rosy brown shade it's beautiful this shade is a bit too light in the crease it took me a while to build it up i love this shade i applied it after into my crease for that pop of color and this deep shade is also very nice so so far we've tried those six shades here my previous video i tried those shades here and hopefully by next week i'll have another video using the other six shades I do think that it's a beautiful palette thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here with me i hope you will consider subscribing if you haven't done so and have a great day and i will see you again in my next one